Hey everyone, Melissa here, and I wanted to tune in with you guys today to talk a little bit about our traditional quilting in the hoop versus the Anita's method of quilting in the hoop. Now, I gathered two embroidery hoops here that are 8 by 12 size, and I wanted to kind of demonstrate why Anita's quilting in the hoop method is so awesome, whether you're a beginner or advanced in quilting. Now, traditionally, if you wanted to embroider on a quilt, and we're not looking at it the way that we do it, Traditionally, people would take their piece of fabric. Now, what I have here is an 18 by 22 cut. So basically a piece of fabric you would get in a fat quarter bundle. And I wanted to embroider this flower design. This one's taken from our quilting 123 collection. So what I did was select the design and embroider it onto the fabric. The first thing you'll notice about this traditional method is I hooped the whole piece of fabric just to get the embroidery design into the hoop and done here and stitched out. The other important fact is that there's no stabilizer. So we stitched directly through the fabric here. And if you look at it up close, you can kind of see some of the puckering and how the design kind of pulled the fabric in. If I point out the edges here, you'll notice the pattern in the fabric warped inwards from all the pulling that happens. Now we did not interface the fabric because if you're a beginner, you might not always know how to do that. Um, and so if you were a beginner trying to embroider quilt fabric and making blocks, this is, tends to be the way that people do it. Now the Anita method, requires hooping, no show mesh stabilizer. We get asked all the time what kind of weight this is. This would be about a medium weight cutaway. And what we do is all of our quilting designs have the squaring stitch to indicate where you place the blocks batting. And that goes in the design first. So already the difference is we'll have batting in our designs while the traditional method does not. Once we lay our batting down and trim away any excess in our square or rectangular quilt block, we then lay our base fabric down and you'll see here that the quilting stitches are built right in. So I chose the quilting stipple background and this flower to be together and that, that saved me fabric as it is. You can already see the first hoop versus this one. I used only a nine by nine square here. Now, if you're trying to plan a whole quilt, that's really important because you don't wanna cut into the nice fabric you purchased and then have to try and figure out how to square it all up too. So that's the other thing about wasting fabric here is if we take this original one, we stitched the design we really like, but now I have to take my tailor's chalk and a ruler and try to measure an eight by eight block to get that design centered perfectly. And then try doing that about 20 more times for all your blocks in your quilt, not including sashing and squaring blocks. So the whole point of quilting in the hoop system is definitely to save you fabric, save you some money and save you the headache of trying to do it yourself. Stay tuned each week as we discover a little bit more about what makes quilting in the hoop so awesome. Thanks for tuning in.